right, to initiate the relearn procedure for the idle relearn, uh, we have to first disconnect the battery for at least 10 minutes. So we will start out by doing that before we do anything else on this. So we'll go ahead and disconnect the battery now. That way everything can be powering down as we remove the air box and throttle body to clean it. That way when we come back, 10 minutes will pass and we can go ahead and start the relearn procedure right away. All right, good to go there. Now our 10 minutes has elapsed while doing the cleaning. So we can go ahead and hook our battery cable back up. battery is now reattached so we can start our idle relearn procedure. Okay, bottle body's clean, battery's hooked back up, everything's ready to go on the idle relearn. So first and foremost, I'm going to tell you a couple things before I do it because it's going to be hard to uh, show you with the camera and move around the vehicle from inside the cabin and outside, but what we want to do is get in the car, turn the key on, and just leave it in the on position for about 10-15 seconds. You'll hear the throttle body motor uh, go through a sweep. It's just a check sweep to make sure there's no binding or issues with the throttle and it can open and close fully. It'll do a couple extra checks. You'll hear it humming, buzzing, clicking. Uh, once that stops, we'll be good to start the engine. When we start the engine, we don't want to have on any electrical loads. We don't want to have the headlights on, air conditioning, stereo, uh, interior lights, nothing. Everything needs to be shut off before you start the engine. Once you start the engine, you need to let it idle for 10 solid minutes without turning any electrical loads on. Uh, do not uh, touch the accelerator pedal either. The car is going to automatically go through and keep adjusting itself every 10-15 seconds or so to find the best idle and get the idle quality where it wants to be. After we go through and that first 10 minutes of it running, we'll turn the engine off and leave the key in the off position for about 20 seconds. After we've let the key sit in the off position for about 20 seconds, We'll turn the key back to the on position for 15, 10 to 15 seconds without starting the engine. Once that's done, we'll start the engine and leave it to idle for another five minutes. Again, no electrical load, don't touch the accelerator pedal, nothing. Then we can turn off the engine again and wait at least 20 seconds before restarting. Then we will take the car for a test drive and our idle relearn should be complete. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into the car. I'm going to turn the key to the on position. You will hear the throttle body making its adjustments. I'll go ahead and make sure all electrical loads are off, make sure the headlights are off, uh, automatic headlights, turn those off, turn off the interior lights, make sure the radio's off, air conditions off, everything. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and roll down the window so I can just reach in without opening the door. And uh, we'll start it up and let it idle for the 10 minutes. So that's what we're going to do now. All the lights, air condition, radio, electrical loads are off. You heard the throttle body do its cycle. So we're going to start it up and time it for a 10 minute idle.
morning guys, our 10 minutes of unmolested idle is up, so what we're going to do is cut the crawl for 20 seconds count, start it back up and idle it for another 5 to about 10 minutes. Excuse me, we'll turn it off completely for 20 seconds, then put it back in the on position for 10 to 15 seconds for the throttle body to sweep again, then crank it and let it run for five minutes. So after it sits for about 20 seconds, this go around, uh, the idle relearn procedure is essentially complete. Uh, I'm going to try to set the tripod up in the back of the car. I'm not sure exactly how well that's going to work. I don't have my uh, Manfrotto super clamp that I usually use for clamping to something in the car to hold the camera still. But we're going to try to set it up and go for a test drive because everything should be relearned and good to go now and uh, see if it's improved the issue where the car wants to stumble and low idle coming to a stop and taking off. Alright guys, we're going to try to take a quick test drive just to see if we've got this issue resolved. Uh, hopefully the video is usable. It may not be because, like I said, I've just got my tripod basically sitting on the back seat. So once we get moving, uh, this might be too shaky to uh, actually be a usable video. So let's just uh, see what we get. Yeah, much better. Normally when I'd come to a stop like that, it would uh, choke down to most 500 RPM and uh, get a really rough idle. Uh, we came down to a nice smooth idle at that stop. So looks like cleaning the throttle body was all this Outback needed.
Oh yeah, much better. Tried a little bit more of an aggressive stop there to see if uh, that made any difference on uh, the car wanting to choke down, and it appears it did not. So, yet again, looks like all we needed was a throttle body cleaning, and uh, good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.